Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at my former Sanguinea colony, also called the Slave Maker Ant. This colony is not that big because they are only one year old and therefore they don't have a very large outworld and I only feed them some insects and some honey when they accept it. They eat a lot of insects though and that's because they have a lot of brood to feed. The nest is made out of wild thong and has housed one of my colonies before. Namely my Messer Barbaros colony was housed in here for uh, half a year and then they out outgrew it. But now these guys are housed in it and they're doing great. Formica sanguinea is a species that's socially parasitic, which means that the queen can't found uh, a colony on her own. She needs host workers and that's what I provided for her. And I provided around about 60 to 70 host workers of the species Formica fusca. And these workers help the queen raise her, her brood and is called the Formica sanguinea. Workers and queen can exist without these host workers but they prefer living with the host workers because it's easier for them. As you can see, there are also some Formica sanguinea workers. Those are the workers with their red thoraxes and the ones that care for the brood mostly. But the Formica fusca workers care for the brood as well. They don't really like the light, so they cluster up in big clusters of workers and hide the brood from uh, the camera. You can see as I zoom out that there is a lot of space left for them to grow. And I think this nest will be filled by summer because they have a lot of new workers on the way and the queens of this uh, species lay a lot of eggs. The colony can also grow really large to about 10,000 workers. This species is also polygen which means that they can have multiple queens as the one you can see in the middle of your screen in one colony. And they do this by adoption so they adopt queens. In the middle you can see some callow workers. Those are the workers that, newly, that are newly closed from their pupa. And the reason why their uh, colors aren't as pronounced yet is because uh, their exoskeleton isn't hard yet. Formica sanguinea are also a bit polymorph, which means that they have different worker castes, like some bigger workers, some smaller workers, but it isn't that pronounced as say with Messer or Campanades. The adoption that I talked about earlier is quite special because they adopt queens from foreign colonies or queens that flew out from their own colonies and they found them. The queens then get brought in ba back into the nest and they get cared for.
and as I'm recording this audio there have been some other pupae that have closed into Keller workers but not all pupae have closed yet You can see that the nest is quite dirty in some chambers and that's because they leave their garbage in the nest because it's a little bit too big for them but that will change in the near future because they have a lot of brood as I said already. Overall, I think that Formica sanguinea is a really good species to keep if you want something different with a bit more color and a bit more aggressive as well. But to get them started is pretty difficult because you need to fi find some host workers, which isn't always that easy. But once you have your first generation of Formica sanguinea workers, you are pretty much set for the future. But that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video, bye!